So the long-awaited sequel or reboot or whatever it is of 2006 Prey is finally here. And as we all know by now, there were no early review copies, were there Bethesda? So of course all reviews have been late pretty much, as have any subsequent review roundups. Let's do it. Prey is a first-person action-adventure RPG which the developers, Arcane Studios by the way, describe as a successor to the System Shock series. Sharing basically nothing in common with the original Prey, this new version puts players in the role of more Morgan Yu as they try and survive an alien outbreak on the space station Talos 1. At the time of recording, Prey currently sits with a Metacritic score of 81 on the PlayStation 4, 78 on PC and 88 on Xbox One. So there's quite a bit of variation across the three platforms. Let's see what the critics have been saying. First up, Eurogamer awarded Prey a recommended badge, praising the game's story, writing and setting. Eurogamer round off their review saying an ornate and clever, if slightly undercooked System Shock successor, which makes the most of a truly magnificent space station setting. Game Informer were also positive about the game, giving it a score of 8.25 out of 10, particularly praising the game's environment, sound design and complex gameplay. They said that the game's many different mechanics interlock wonderfully and the emergent gameplay moments that come from this make the complicated systems worth learning. However, Game Informer were also critical of the combat mechanics, calling it the game's biggest shortcoming, and that it never felt more than just chipping off bits of a health bar. So there's two sites so far, both of them are criticising the combat, and that's something I've got to agree with based on the demo. It just didn't feel like I was making much impact on these little mimic things. It didn't feel very satisfying to you, so it sounds like that's a theme that's running through a few Both interviews. praising the level design as well. It's supposed yep. to be a good world, a nice little Metroidvania style. Yeah, probably uh, one so of the things that Arcane are best at. I mean, based on, you know, Dishonored and stuff like that, that's great. kind of their jam. So this is, this. they're obviously going to be pretty good at that. The Guardian newspaper were a bit more mixed about the game than Game Informer and Eurogamer. They described the game as a combination of all the best elements of Bioshock, Dead Space and Dishonored, but it does little with them. The Guardian also found the main narrative to be lackluster, but the side characters you meet throughout pump a bit of life into the game. They also found the combat to be more frustrating than tense due to the enemy's large health bars, scarcity of ammo and overall difficulty. Overall they thought the game showed promise but the rough around the edges presentation and underutilized concepts made for a bit of a mixed bag. They gave Prey 3 out of 5 stars. PC Gamer were a bit more positive about the game. They praised the game for its approach to gameplay, saying it uses the ethos of where there's a will, there's a way, and every room within the space station offers multiple ways to enter. PC Gamer also liked the design of Talos 1, saying it feels like an actual functioning place and the environments were believable despite the sci-fi setting. However, they also did not like the combat signalling out the game's opening hours as the worst examples. In one of the harshest reviews we've seen on the internet so far, IGN gave the game a 4 out of 10. IGN reviewed the game on PC and found the story, exploration and side quests to be worth slogging through the dull combat. But reviewer Dan Stapleton said after playing the game for 40 hours it became clear that it was an unplayable technical mess, with numerous crashes to desktop and save game corruption that resulted in his campaign progress being wiped numerous times. IGN wrap up the review saying Prey on PC showed me a fantastically explorable space station but a game breaking bug ended my run in frustration. And finally we'll take a look at US Gamer who gave the game 4 out of 5 stars praising the level design, art direction, soundtrack and late game content. As with pretty much everyone else US Gamer found the combat again to be disappointing in the early stages but once the skill trees open up later in the game combat becomes a lot more varied and less frustrating. US Gamer Gamer also found Mick Gordon's soundtrack to be excellent, but they were disappointed that the dynamic sound mixing of the game failed to execute properly. Despite all this, they thought Prey was an excellent game and is a suitable love letter to the classics of the past and they are excited to see how Arcane build upon this foundation in the future. So my biggest takeaway from what I've played, uh, what I've seen, discussing it with Gaz in the office who's played a little bit more than us too. It looks like Bioshock, it plays like Dishonored and it's got some elements of uh, Deus Ex and things like um, Dead Space in terms of those jump scares and yeah. you know, the enemy design and stuff like that. If you can identify what is great in other games and just like, you know, just like, oh, I'll have a bit of that and I'll have a bit of this, that's, you know, that's, always, a, that's always a good foundation for any game. To be honest with you, just get a summary of these. They seem to say combat, hmm, levels, hmm, sound design, hmm. Sound mixing. Hmm. Gaz, who sits. We've only just started doing reviews ourselves, actually. Gaz, who sits opposite me in the office, was playing a bit of this. I thought he was watching a YouTube clip of a car crash because I just heard. Oh, yeah. 
And yeah. I was like, what are you watching? It turns out he wasn't, he was just playing Prey yeah. and walking past a cup. That's what happens when you walk past That's what, <laughs> Prey. Well, apparently it's a mimic, but the, the soundtrack's supposed to be really not subtle. Yeah. From what I heard, I thought he was it's... watching disaster video compilations on YouTube, <coughs> but it turns out he was just playing yeah. Prey. You know, they've tried to inject a bit of energy into this, into this thing, which actually isn't that scary. Like, you know, if a cup or a chair or whatever transforms into a mimic, well, the mimic just looks like that little wig from the uh, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode where Snake gets his wig yeah. off and it's like a Sitting, little, little yeah. you know, mop thing running around. Scoring around, It's yeah. really not that scary. So what they do is they just like jar you with this really sharp shot of music out of nowhere. And then what that does is actually it just tells you, oh, by the way, there's an enemy nearby, so you're going to have to deal with that. It's worth knowing that they've announced that they are going to be patching some of these sound issues because a lot of people have problems with it, yeah. whether they found it louder than the rest of the game in some parts or just too shrill and disaster like a lot of the impressions when this came when you know they're showing prey off for the first time was like oh it looks like bioshock it's like dishonored in space they've gone beyond that a little bit i don't think dishonored dishonored in space is probably the closest but even that really doesn't do justice to what they've what they've tried to do there's there are some mixed impressions and even the more positive reviews have got some big providers provisors in there the combat the you know the audio so the sound design is good but the way it's been implemented just isn't quite there yet so there are a few common criticisms across all these reviews i mean the reviews are trickling through pretty Thick and, thick and fast now so although you've had to wait for this kind of criticism thanks to Bethesda's review policy at least if you've been patient enough to not buy it on day one you can educate yourself pretty well now and of course you have the demo if you're playing it on consoles PC port as well it needs to uh, mentioning they've done a really good job this time around unlike Dishonored 2 yeah. they've managed to make a very nice smooth experience and that's kind of reflected in the Metacritic scores PC is not the lowest reviewed is it, it no um, PS4 is because of apparently the input lag sponsor, it's like having one of those cranes that yeah. picks stuff up. Yeah, but never actually pick stuff up. You're always like, oh, I got it, I got yeah. it. No, no, I haven't got it. Just like that. <laughs> but less fun. All right, guys, have you picked up Prey yet? Let us know your thoughts about the game down in the comments below. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. There's another video right here if you want to watch that and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel, which would be great. See you next time.